Good morning guys, how are you all doing? My name is of course Alex. I am going to go and quickly hit up a, uh, a quick gym session because whilst I was in Manchester over the weekend I didn't get the opportunity uh, to go for a run or do any gym or do anything that was remotely healthy. So I'm going to go do that now while you guys take a look at the weather and what we're dealing with today. Ouch. <laughs> Guys, I keep putting this lens on my camera and I have no idea why, I'm just fixated with the fact that it gives you a really shallow depth of field, which means that the background is really blurry. And you can only do that with certain types of lenses. Now I've got a Canon lens right now which is giving me this effect on a Sony body, which means that if I do this, it's not going to autofocus. And to be fair, I don't even know if I'm properly autofocused or not. Oh, I'm sorry, not autofocused. I don't know if I'm actually focused or not yet. This is the lens I usually use for vlogging. It is great because it autofocuses, but it doesn't give me this blurred depth of field. So what I need to do is find a lens with this autofocus and that gives me blurred depth of field. And then we're sorted. There you go, look. Now we're back to my super wide lens, which autofocuses pretty well on this camera. Let me know what you guys think. Would you prefer to have a shallow depth of field or would you prefer to have it super, 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 super wide? Let me know. What's the point in giving me a pull tab if I can't open it? So as you can see, the weather is a little bit drowsy today, not looking the best. Gonna go and record a tech flow video in the office and be inside whilst this weather is a little bit bad. Not the best. Okay, I can't wait for this, right? If you didn't watch yesterday's video, I highly recommend you should if you didn't yesterday's vlog. Pretty much, I had a few packages turn up at the office, this being one of them. And it's been such a long time coming. Pretty much what's inside here is an air conditioning unit. Now that sounds really uninteresting, but honestly, if you don't understand the technology, you won't like it. But pretty much you have an air conditioning unit, right, and a fan. Those are two very different things. A fan takes air and pushes it, and an air conditioning unit takes air, makes that air cooler, and then puts it back out into the room, ultimately making the temperature of the room drop. But usually with aircon units, especially with uh, like traditional ones that have to be mounted on the wall, up high up on a wall, they have to have an exterior unit on the exterior of the house or office or wherever you want to have air conditioning, and they're big clunky horrible things. This is just a little box that you plug in. It's literally a portable aircon unit. I don't know how they've done this. And I can't wait to see if it actually works or it's just a gimmick. That's why I'm excited, okay? I'm really excited to see if this works. So what I've done today is I've come to the office. I'm gonna record a tech flow video on this bad boy, unbox it and do a little first demonstration, look at it uh, on tech flow uh, for a video over on that channel. And then we'll look at it in a bit more detail on the vlog and take it home and compare it to the big ridiculous fan that cost me a million pounds back at home, the Dyson fan, which is just a waste of money. So I've just switched to my phone right now, and as you guys know, as a lot of you have found out, uh, I've been doing the Tech Flow videos on my own uh, quite a bit recently, and it's quite hard to do, to, to, to do like multi-camera setup stuff on your phone, um, but I just want to show you guys what like the setup is. So I have, this is my like vlogging camera, and I use this as the main camera for Tech Flow uh, on all of the shoots, and then I have the A6300 down here, so this is actually, has a little bit of a tighter shot, and then this is the, this is the wide shot on, on, on on this. So I have two cameras like that and then I'm going to sit here and unbox it. Okay guys, this thing is that cool. Literally pumping out cool air. If you want like a full review, go and watch the Tech Flow video. I'm not sure when I'm going to put that video live. Literally, I don't know if you saw in the little time lapse that I just did. People from the other offices in this office building were coming up and were like, that is absolutely amazing. Oh, it's so cold. Make yourself comfortable, baby. Sweet, so that is a Tech 
Overflow video all done for today and I'm so happy that I've got the video out of the way because that means I now have this thing out of the box. Which is totally ridiculously awesome. This, this thing is so cool. And it legitimately works. Like, look at the display on the... Oh, wow. Just wow. Okay, so the temperature of the room is 22 degrees. This machine is taking in, through the back of it, 22 degree air, turning it into 18.9 degrees air and pushing it out the front. This number is slowly dropping. I've only had the unit turned on about five minutes. I've managed to get this down to 18.1 degrees. How cool is that? And you can change the color of this LED if you want to. It's so cool. I don't know if you guys will notice if you watch the tech flow video, but I had uh, I had this bad boy on in the background <laughs> just to uh, just to see if anyone would notice. It's honestly really cool in this room right now. Today's been a bit of a boring one for me, really. Uh, not much I can really explain. This is a load of um, uh, insurance stuff. Uh, I'm getting all of my all of my equipment in, insured, so in case it gets stolen or there's a fire, I have insurance. <laughs> myself. I thought, why don't I go out and empty the container that's meant to go in it? I was thinking about this in the car on the way back. I was thinking, why don't I fill the container with ice water? So I've actually put ice in there now. The water is freezing to the touch. So what we'll go ahead and do is try this. Put the ice water on the side and see if that goes even colder. Then I had another idea. I totally forgot that this thing is USB powered, so you can literally just power it off of an external battery bank. So if I plug this in here, hopefully. And then I had another idea. Why do I aim the Eva Polar at the Dyson Airblade, turn on the Dyson Airblade, and then tell the Dyson Airblade to blow the cold air into the room. Okay, apparently my room is 21.1 degrees at the 21.2 degrees. Let's see if we can get this room really cool. Okay, I'm gonna leave my little contraption over there running, right? But for now, for now, let me just show you. Have you seen this sky? Look, look at this. This is probably gonna be one of the best time lapses I've ever done in my life. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I've had this contraption running down here for the last sort of 45 minutes to an hour. As you can see now, we did an amazing time lapse and it's now dark. The screen said the internal temperature of the room hadn't changed. But I can tell you from being in here, it's very cold. Very, very cold. Like I'm gonna, I need to go and get a jumper on now, is that cold? <laughs> Guys, look at this, look. I've literally just hit the jackpot. One of my clients has just come round to my house uh, and he's, it's a recurring income client because I run a website for him uh, and once a website has been running obviously a client pays you for the design work of the site uh, the site is then live um, and, and I thought and he thought as well that he was paying to keep the website running every month and he just paid me for the design work but I'd actually set it up in a way that I had been paying for uh, the website running each month which is like a, a, a 10 pound running cost every month to keep the website up and to keep the domain name we both thought he was paying for it but it turns out I've been paying for it we literally together looked at the billing information so um, he's just given me like 120 quid for the whole year 10 pounds a month um, so that is a massive boost like that is so cool that just feels so strange obviously it's my money but it just feels strange to like be holding that much money at once so I'm gonna put that uh, in my wallet and try and take it to the bank uh, sometime this week. There's how much there I can't even fit in. There was two days over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, where I did no exercise. So I need to do two gyms today, or two bits of exercise today to make up for that. So I'm gonna go for a run. I'll see you guys when I'm back. <sighs> that <coughs> <coughs> was really difficult. Guys, I just had a quick bath. That's why my hair's not done. Guys, some of the comments you guys have left on the cutie page have just been absolutely phenomenal. As in regards to changing the setup, you guys have left some absolutely phenomenal stuff. We'll talk about it a bit more tomorrow. A lot of you guys have said like, put like sliding wardrobe doors and stuff over here. But we'll talk about all of that in tomorrow's video. And I just wanna go, just take a little tangent and just say, guys, thanks for the like ratings and comments recently. 
It's, they've been amazing. Your support, guys, recently has been absolutely phenomenal. So I thank you for that. And hello to all of the new subscribers recently subscribed. Hope you're enjoying what you're seeing. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think of the content in the comment section down below or on Twitter or even on QT uh, if you're a hardcore, hardcore person. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to get some sleep now, guys. So I'm going to go and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. My name's been Alex. You guys have been awesome. Stay awesome. Keep smiling. Catch you in tomorrow's vlog. Adios. Good morning guys, how are we all doing? My name is Alex and I'm in the middle of Manchester, it's just me now, I'm trying to make it home. I think I found a